All right, welcome to our training today. Our training today is on the power of YouTube remixes. This is a brand new feature on YouTube. And I'm gonna show you guys today two ways to leverage this tool immediately today to triple your video content and 10X your channel views in just five minutes. This strategy is so quick and easy and you will see thousands of views hit your channel from content you didn't even have to make. Now, I'm going to explain how, how all that works in this training today. So I want you to open up your phones and go to your personal YouTube page right now. That's what I would like for you to do is go to your personal YouTube. Have that open on your phone, your mobile device right now. So let's kind of let's kind of define some terms. First of all, what is YouTube Remix? Okay, YouTube Remix, it's a feature inside YouTube that allows you to easily create YouTube shorts from existing videos on YouTube without editing. Most videos on YouTube can be remixed. In fact, you can remix your own videos and you can remix other people's videos. The only videos you can't remix are copyrighted videos or unlisted private content, okay? Now, you can only make a remix on your mobile phone, but you can watch a remix on mobile or desktop. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is a, a snapshot of all of the YouTube shorts on my YouTube channel. And this one right here is a remix. And I want you to notice how the thumbnail is terrible. The thumbnail is an auto, is an auto picture. You cannot edit the thumbnail as of right now. You cannot change the thumbnail on a YouTube short, okay? And that's going to be sort of an underlying principle of all YouTube shorts, including remixes. So I want you to notice how terrible the thumbnail is, and yet it's the highest viewed um, uh, screenshot on this channel. This one is also, not on the channel, on this, on this screenshot. Also, this is a YouTube remix as well. So they look just like YouTube shorts. Okay, but there's small differences. What do you guys notice about the difference in this YouTube short? Take a quick look at it. And if you know, tell me in the comment section, a YouTube remix will have a little clickable link down here. And if you're watching a remix on a mobile phone and you tap this link, it will connect you right back to the full length video. So you should be using YouTube remixes to drive traffic to your existing videos. And you should be making your long form videos with built in segments that you plan to remix after it's published. So let's talk about how to remix your own videos. So I want you guys right now to pick a video on your channel that you want to remix. Okay, so go to your channel right now, and I want you to walk through this process with me because it's very, very quick. Now, if you're watching this on the replay, you can pause this if you need to, to sort of catch up, but I'm going to go through this rather quickly. So first thing you're going to want to do is find the video that you want to remix and tap the remix button underneath it. And when you do that, you're going to see this box pop up. And this box is going to give you four different options. You're going to see three of these options on every single remix. But you're going to find this option only on your videos. So we're going to focus heavily on edit into a short, okay? You can use a segment from the video up to one minute, and you can turn it into a... Uh, just like a trailer clip. So it won't actually be in a, in a vertical short form. It'll be in a widescreen that you can share on your YouTube timeline. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm not even looking at that at all. And then green screen. We're going to end our presentation with the green screen feature, which I think is a huge, huge, huge feature. Okay, for right now, I want you to click edit into a short. And when you do that, you're going to open up the video in your shorts editor. Now, I want you to notice a couple things in, in this short editor. Notice that it focuses on the center of the video. So it's not gonna be perfect. 
Remember how I showed you that earlier thumbnail? Like it just wasn't perfect. Now you can adjust this. You can move uh, the shaded area around and, and, and whatnot, and you can play with it. But there's some other things that I want you to see first. I know, want you to notice that up in the right-hand corner, it says 15 seconds. Tap on that right now. And when you tap on that, it changes into 60 seconds. And so largely, I'm going to want you focusing on more than 15 seconds. It doesn't have to quite be the full 60 seconds. You know, I like to find a good 35-second clip or a 25-second clip. But you can tap that button to extend the time of the timeline. And then notice the, the timeline here or the, the editing sort of bar down below. You can move the white cursors. You can move the white cursors to make it less than 15 seconds or less than 60 seconds and more. You can also move the film in the background to get it up to that exact second that you want the video to start. And I think that that's key. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to find the segment, find the remix that you want to remix. Okay, so maybe pause this video and take a moment to, to do that now. All right, so my recommendation for you guys is to find a starting point that's highly visual and or find a starting point with a powerful opening statement because you're not able to like cut this section out and then add it to this section. You can't do that. You're gonna pick a starting point and it's gonna run until you tell it to stop or 60 seconds. That 35 second clip, it won't be perfect. You know, it's gonna show scenes like this where it's like a little off-centered and that's okay. We've gotten lots of views on remixes across, across all of our client channels by starting with a powerful opening statement and or a powerful opening visual, okay? So you're gonna adjust all that and you're gonna click the next button. And when you do that, your clip is gonna start looping in this new viewer. You've got a next button in the upper right corner. You've got a back button in the upper left corner. And then down at the bottom, you have four new options, text, voiceover, timeline, and filters. These are what they say they are, right? You can add text. You can also add voiceover. And we got plenty of uses for that, but that's not gonna be our training today. There's a timeline where you can sort of measure things out a little bit. And there's filters, which is just like Instagram filters. We're going to focus on text and timeline. Those are the, really the only two we're going to focus on for today's training. So when you tap on the text button, this is what's going to open up. You're going to see a text editor that's just very similar to the Instagram and, and um, you know Facebook story text editors. But when you add text, what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a great opening visual. Okay, we're, we're not creating a thumbnail here. I want you guys just to know that. And there's a lot of reasons that we're doing this. Not everybody's going to want to add text, right? Like if you're doing, if you're remixing drone shots of a real estate property, we did this just the other day with a client. He had drone shots of, of a property. And so we remixed about 35 seconds of it. And we added the text, would you live here? And it was like a 35 second video about, just great scenery, right? Real estate video. Anyway, it did extremely well. I had like 100 views before we hung up the call. So I want you to add your text in like, it should look nice, right? And I'm adding it here in sort of like these truth about cancer, right? And I'm, each word is in its own box. And at the end of, of the day, I, I want my text to look something like this, right? It's big, it's centered. I can read it in, a, in, a, in, a, in just a quick 0.3 seconds, I can understand what this is about. All right, so when you've added your text and don't add too much, right? Remember, like people need to be able to just kind of like figure out the gist in a heartbeat here. When you have your text and you're done, okay? It's gonna appear on screen like this and you're gonna go back to those four tabs down at the bottom. Now we're gonna click timeline because we don't want the text to stay on the screen the whole time. We only want the, the text to last about three seconds. So what you're going to do is hit timeline and you're going to see each layer of text appear as its own thing. And then you can move the white spacers for how long you want that text to appear. As soon as the cursor moves off the white space, the, the text no longer appears. So you'll measure up about three seconds. Maybe it's two seconds, right? But, you know, maybe about three seconds of text. You drag those so that the text disappears and you click done and you'll be ready to publish your 
YouTube Remix. So when you're on this page, there's a couple different things that you should know about, but this is really, it's a very quick page. I want you to know what's on this page, but you're really spending less than 30 seconds on this page. So number one thing to recognize is the public and the visibility and the audience segments here. Now, the, the visibility refers to public, unlisted, private, or scheduled. So you can schedule this remix to go live tomorrow, right? So you could publish a video today, a full-length video today, and then pick a remix from it and schedule it to go out tomorrow or the next day. Fantastic use of this system, and you've doubled your views. You could even pick two remixes from a full-length video or three. To my knowledge, I, I've done as much as two. To my knowledge, there's no limit to how you can, how many of these you can do. You can schedule it there. You can make them unlisted. You can also make them private. Let's look at the audience, okay? The audience is going to always be no, it's not made for kids. So YouTube will eventually learn this and auto-populate it for you. So in the beginning, just make sure you put no, it's not made for kids. All of you are no, it's not made for kids. Unless you have a channel that you are dressing up in costumes, doing puppet shows, right? Unless you're that, you are not made for kids. That's just like a general rule, okay? And then what we want to do is look at the caption, your title of your short. The title of the short is going to appear at the bottom of the short. I could write in there the truth about cancer. The issue though, guys, is that's already sort of there on the screen. So I don't want to be redundant. So we, we really want your remix titles and all your short titles to be a little bit more inflammatory and to be a little bit shorter. You know, like these two titles, they're, they're both actually good titles. The first one's 22 characters. The, the second one's 40 characters. You really want to keep your shorts titles short, sweet, under 55 characters. You know, it's like one sentence or two. And notice that these are, these are sort of like intentionally vague, like what's the truth about cancer or every cancer patient needs to hear what. As I, however, as I publish this, as you guys will see, I've actually, I continue to change the title of the shorts to just try to get the best reaction I can get from them. Now, notice at the bottom, I can save this as a draft. This is a brand new feature on YouTube where you can save videos as a, a draft, right? It, for shorts, at least. So you could save this as a draft and come back to it later, or you can publish it right now. But here's something I want you to know. I want you to notice the thumbnail and the title, okay? Because you would think that what they show you here would actually be the thumbnail on YouTube. It's not. YouTube is going to randomly pick a thumbnail anyway. So I want you to be prepared for that. Well, then why do we add the text? Because when somebody hovers over it, when it auto plays in the feed, they won't see the thumbnail. And I want those, those first three seconds to act as a thumbnail for them. And you can see down below here, I changed the name again. I changed the title again to I had to say it. Again, intentionally vague. And that's, that's a strategy that we use for our, our remixes here. Okay, so keep that in mind here. You've got your three-second view for when viewers are scrolling through the shorts feed, but you're also going to have a thumbnail that YouTube's going to randomly pick. And I predict that YouTube will be pulling thumbnails using an AI technology to optimize our videos for the most possible clicks. That's what I believe they're doing because I've seen my, my reels excuse me, my remix and my shorts thumbnails appear slightly differently from in the, in the very beginning when they're published. So just keep that in mind that you cannot control the thumbnail, but you can control the first three second view, okay? Now, whether you publish it, unlist it, or save it as a draft, it's gonna appear here in your YouTube studio analytics. Notice at the top of the screen, there is my YouTube remix. Now, when I hover over my YouTube remix, I've got some editing options. I can edit the title and I can add a description. As of right now, we are not doing that. We are getting thousands and thousands of views on our remixes without having to add a description. The get a shareable link, right? So if you guys just published a reel or a remix, excuse me, I want you guys to click shareable link and share that link in the comment section right now. All right, so you can get the shareable link and you can start sharing that out on your Instagram 
stories, for example, you know, I wouldn't share it on Facebook. It doesn't seem like a good idea there, but, but you can share that in an email. You can embed it into your website. But the most important thing I want to show you is this button here. You can download that remix, which means what? It means you should download your remixes and upload them to Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.